I love hiring people. I, I like interviewing, and I consider myself to always be interviewing. I went down for an early lunch. You know, when the time changed, um, it was 11 o'clock, but tummy time was noon, and I was hungry, right? And so I went downstairs in our building to get a cup of soup because I was so hungry. And I was going down, and I could see this young man that it was clear he was kind of kind of dressed up, and I could see that he had just come from an interview, right? And I said, so what are you interviewing for? He said, sales role, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, so what do you do, and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I'm looking for some sales talent. Here's my business card. Contact me. Right? He never did. He never contacted me. He never did. And I'm thinking, and, and that's kind of the thing that you always need to be recruiting. You always need to be able to get people to come on board. And if you're building a culture where people want to come to work for you and that you've established a reputation for allowing them autonomy and responsibility, many of these younger people, yeah, they, they require a little care and feeding, but to be able to launch them into the world to have this kind of awesome experience is so wonderful. So I love interns, um, love to be able to bring a bunch of interns on board, love to be able to help them be successful. I give interns big projects, so because you know what, they're not in meetings. They can focus, they can do competitive analysis, they can do a bunch of stuff that nobody else can do. They can make the telephone calls that you need people to make. And it's so awesome, because you know, I'm in like four hour, five hour meetings, and you know, all I can do is like go and rub their back and say, thank you so much. And you know, they're the ones that can clean out the storage closet and like organize all the swag and take inventory. So like, oh geez, we have 5,000 of these, who knew? So now we don't have to buy 5,000 more. And they like that kind of responsibility. So I like bringing on, uh, younger team members, but also mid-level people that they want to they want to be able to move from like a manager role into a director role and they're ready to take on increased responsibility. And I love those kind of people. I love I love trying out people. So my favorite question is um, I don't spend a lot of time interviewing people. I, I let other people kind of vet them and then but I meet every single person that comes on my team. But I always ask them, what do you think your superpower is? And it's always, it's, it's, it's disarming for many people. They're like, well, I never really thought about it. Like, what my superpower is. And it's kind of interesting what people say as a response. And if they have trouble with that, I, I, I say, well, what color is your superhero's cape? And then that allows them to be able to figure out like what color they are. And, you know, sometimes it's red and green and that's, that sort of thing. But it kind of gets them thinking because if you've ever never read the book Strengths Finders, Strengths Finders is great, and there's a free tool. We all try to fix our deficits. I'm a very impatient person, a very impatient person. Anybody that's ever worked for me knows I'm wicked impatient. But the flip side of that is I get stuff done. So my superpower, if I want, or strength, is I get stuff done. But I could choose to work on my impatience, and I'm usually impatient for success. So my strength is my impatience, right? So why would I work on something that's so negative? I think that if we kind of concentrate on our strengths and make them better, that's like putting people in the right roles so that they're able to be successful. And that's why I ask what people's superpowers are because sometimes it's like, I'm really good at this. And it's, it's really defining for people to be able to say, you know what, I'm really good at this. And I want to make sure that my team is doing the things that they're really good at not the stuff that they need work on.